Hello, you're watching this video because you have signed up for band and you've chosen to play the clarinet. Great choice, by the way. Once you have your instrument, which hopefully you got from a store or a quality rental place, uh, or from a family member or a friend, and you've had it checked out to make sure that it's in great working order and that it's a decent quality instrument, because that does actually matter. Playing a uh, clarinet that is not good uh, is going to be a frustrating and discouraging experience. So you want to make sure you're starting off on good equipment. Some students also rent from the school and schools usually do a good job of making sure their instruments are quality and in working order to the best of their ability. Uh, once you have your instrument, most supplies will actually be included, but usually there are not enough reeds that come with your instrument. First of all, you need to make sure that your reed brand is a quality brand. I usually recommend either Rico Royals or Van Doren reeds. There's many others such as Mitchell Lurie. Um, I could list them all, uh, but avoid the plain Rico reeds. They are not typically as good. And if you buy a bulk box of 10, a lot of them will be problematic from my experience. Speaking of bulk boxes, this is what one of the Van Doren styles of reeds boxes looks like. And it comes in a box of 10. The minimum strength I would like my students to play on is a two and a half. Reeds have different strengths. I play personally on three and a half strength reeds. Um, this is a bit of a preference thing, but typically on clarinet, the higher the strength, the better tone quality and the more range you're going to get on your instrument. However, two and a half is a very good starting point for most students. So I would pick strength two and a half and stick with Van Doren or Rico Royal. You can buy reeds individually one at a time, but it is more expensive that way. Whoops, that was an empty case. Um, if you can buy in a box, which does cost a lot up front, it will save you money overall. And you should, if they're taken well care of, or good, if you take good care of them, it should last you most of your first year in band. Now that you have your reeds strength two and a half and a good quality brand, you're gonna need something to keep them in. I don't like using the ca uh, plastic cases that they come in because they don't do a great job of keeping them flat and students tend to break their reeds, putting them in and out of the case. These are really quite affordable reed guards. Most music stores sell them. You'll need at least two if you just get these little double holders because you can fit one reed on this side and one reed on this side. That way you have your minimum of three reeds on the go all the time. As a band teacher, I know how important it is to have lots of reeds ready to play, and this means you've tested them, played them, and you know that they work. Unfortunately, sometimes when you buy reeds, some reeds, for whatever reason, do not play well. So if you buy only one reed and you get unlucky, you're going to struggle on your instrument. So you need to have a minimum of three reeds that work all the time, which means you probably need to buy to get started five at least. That's why I recommend the boxes of 10. There are many different styles of reed guards. What I've shown you is a good option. It's very cost effective. Um, here's a more expensive option that's bigger. As a professional clarinet player, I tend to have a lot of reeds on the go at once. So you can sort of see in there how many I have. They're on perfectly flat glass to keep them from warping with a soft lid to hold them in place. Um, this can be quite pricey, but they do have different sizes. Uh, and as long as the reed is kept on a flat surface and has some way of airing out a little bit without getting broken, you'll be fine for a reed case. And last but not least, you're going to need something to keep your clarinet clean. Because you blow into your clarinet, the condensation from your breath will create moisture inside your instrument, which if left undried, can cause damage to pads, it can cause weird things to grow in your instrument, and it will start to smell. So I have a very large swab, but it's built from very thin material and it's a triangle shape. Uh, if you get a swab that has a large square piece of fabric at the end of the long string, and make sure it is meant for clarinet so the length is correct, I recommend students cut off the corners of the square on opposite sides to create a longer, skinnier swab that won't get stuck inside the instrument. Other swabs are smaller, but they're thicker material and those work great as well. So 
Make sure you have your instrument, all the supplies that I've shown you here, and you'll be ready to go when you get to band class. Have fun, and I look forward to seeing you.